I got broads in Atlanta. She's a Dolly in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the. Yo. Hope y'all can see this, man. This is a. Uh... <sighs> it's kind of dark, but you know something. Gonna move this bike towards the light. All right, we back, y'all. So my switch went out. It's a big switch. I'm unplugging it right now. Switch here. I took some time to the plug to the like. Okay. And here we have the new switch. This is Dongling69.com. It's the exact switch for the um, 250 though. One. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's all that's wrong with it though. Because what happened is I came out to get on the bike to uh, just do a little riding and man, I got nothing, dude. Yep, I got nothing. Also, don't forget that hole is your line up pin now. For your sweet so it don't also so it don't move. Before I get to doing it, I have to put the cable back. So don't forget to put your cable back in there and turn it in there. Going to um, kind of fid fid fidget with it for a little bit because me, I didn't want to take off the uh, brake cable to give myself a little more room. Which would make it easier, but I just didn't want to take it off. I got to get this cable in here first before I can do anything though. Trying to get everything kind of adjusted so I don't have to worry about this later.
also want to check your throttle, make sure it's working good before you get the cleansing this up. And that's that's how you can just check your lima pin and see it don't move. Then you need to get one of the screws in it to hold it. Check your uh, check your throttle a few times. So I get the front one here. It's kind of hard to see. I didn't bring no light with me. I do have a little small flashlight. Yeah. So inside of there is where I gotta plug it up at. I have to route it through here. This is how it was, it was routed through here, and then it goes down. But the good thing about this one, which I really like, is they have a long cable on it. Um I know you ain't gonna be able to see me plugging this up. So I guess the next thing will be, because right now it's early in the morning, it's still dark outside, so I think the next part will be me turning it on, firing it up. Alright, so it started, but I had to um, jump because my battery was super low, but it did fire right up, so that was good. Also... Also, I had to change out the starter relay. It was just clicking. I'm thinking um, they have like a little switch inside of it. I'm thinking they had corrosion on it. I still have to hook it to the bike. I got the rub on it, but I still have to hook it to the bike. Good thing I had a couple of those. Because I was also thinking it could have been the CDI, but it wasn't the CDI. So that's good. But I do have a couple of CDIs also. So I got to put that back to the little clamp and put that one back in the case. Right now I'm letting it run for a little while so I can kind of charge that battery up, man. Yeah, man. Feel a lot better, man. It feel, don't feel good when your bike ain't, 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 up, ain't running, man. I'll tell you that. All right, y'all. This has been a simple one. I'll probably do y'all... Uh, video on how to test your uh, relay so, oh and the reason I, I changed the switch because I had a, a feeling that it might have been the relay I changed the switch because my switch was messed up I messed it up when I was taking it off checking it that's the reason I changed the switch that was the problem that I did that I messed up but you know how that goes trying to get it did and I messed up but so alright y'all hope y'all like it don't forget to subscribe